Good morning everyone, this is Sherry with Studio 28E and I am here to show you the beginning process or the next step, I guess, in the process of decorating an Altoids tin. I had, you know, showed you that I did several coats of um, gesso and sanded it and whatever. And I've also taken the gesso off the top edge because it's going to catch anyway. Uh, and it won't close right. So what I've done was, I just, so far I've got that done and I took it apart and I created a template for the outside bottom. You'll need, and top, they're the same size. So you'll need two of these. Um, what I did was I traced around the outside of this, but I did a square. And then I took my half inch quarter round corner round and punch the edges that seemed to work the best but it's about I think three and uh, not quite three and three quarters three and seven sixteenths maybe uh, long and about two and one, two, three, four, five sixteenths wide. Um, you know, you can always do it a little bit smaller, but you know, that's as close to the edge as I could get. Uh, and this is the inside. The inside is a little bit, uh, maybe it's not quite the same. That's about three and yeah, I guess they're almost the same size. Three and two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven sixteenths by two and five sixteenths. But they're not quite the same size. But again, you know, what I did was I went by the outside edge and or the outside and I traced it and then I started trimming it and then when I got it to the right size I pressed it inside and then I cut I did the pull it out you know I, I'll show you with a piece of paper I took a piece of paper and I pushed it in to get the edges obviously this one's too wide to even think to do that way This is just for demonstration purposes, it's not. But I put the paper inside, and then I used my fingernail, use your bone fold or whatever, and then followed it around. And then I cut, used the ruler to make sure the sides were straight, and then I used the corner round punch for the corners. So you'll need two for the inside and two for the outside. Like I said, you can start using the outside one as your template and then cut it down. And then you're going to need two of these. Um, you can use, I think I've got two and a half of the, the size I'm using. Uh, five eighths would probably work as well. And this is going inside. You know, you might prefer the 5 eighths, but then again, you know, you don't want to get in the way, you know, get in the way of your hinges. And then that'll get glued inside. And the same, I've got it so it goes underneath the little um, closure pieces there and underneath. Uh, if you, you put it above it and then just, you know, tuck it under after. And... Wrap it around, and then um, you will need a quarter inch piece to go around the outside. And again, you're going to have to be careful. Uh, you no, know, you might not want a quite quarter inch, but you got to watch where the hinges are going. So I would put this around the outside, like so, and then mark where the hinges are going you may just be able to score it a little bit and push it through um so that's as far as i've gotten so far so i hope this um 
a little bit of a tutorial will help you a little bit. Like I said, this is a quarter inch. Maybe I should write on it. I don't know. Hope you can read my writing, but that's a quarter inch for the outside edge. This is a half inch to five eighths inches for the inside and the outside edges of the bottom. And I, it's a little long, but um, I would probably cut my piece of paper a little bit long to make sure that, you know, it fits in the corners snugly and because um, that's going to be a trick to get it to stay there. And then you need, um, I gave you the measurements on these, but I don't have them anymore in front of me. But, you know, that's the inside of the top and bottom. And there's the outside of the top and bottom. So, um... I think this is what I'm going to use. It's kind of like a, I think it's homemade paper or somebody did something to it. And then put um, some kind of metallic ink on it. almost looks like it's a rose gold. I was going to use um, fabric, but this seems to, the textured paper seems to work very well as far as, you know, uh, not allowing this to show through. So that's where I am so far, and um, I will finish this. And I will get back with you with the uh, sides glued on and um, top glued on. And we'll be ready for the next step, which is decorating. Um, thank you again. I'll be back with part two soon. Bye.